Hello, my name is Matt. Welcome to City College Southampton's Marine Skills Centre, based here in Wollstone on the banks of the River Itchen. Um, here at the Marine Skills Centre, we are dedicated to marine training. Um, and as you will see from our facilities, um, we cover two main areas, marine engineering and boat building. The main workshop is a large open area used for training throughout the day, um, and it's one of our busiest areas. It's split into two main areas. The first area I'll talk about is marine engineering. So, um, marine engineering, we teach at two levels, level two and level three. And on level two, we have two years. The first year is a very general area. And in that first year, you will learn many different things from um, maintaining marine engineering mechanical devices, um, marine electrical training, as well as the basic health and safety and working with others that we expect all our students to learn. Most of that learning will take place here, as I've already said, and you can see the different equipment as we look around the workshops. Um, one of our main workshops we use for training our marine engineers is the marine engine room. And in that engine room, we'll find a range of engines from small single cylinder engines up to large eight cylinder generators. And these engines you will find in a, a wide range of vessels from small um, leisure craft up to uh, smaller commercial craft such as tugboats. We have all the tools and equipment in those workshops needed to maintain all of our equipment. One of the other areas we have for dedicated for marine training is the marine electrical workshop. In the marine electrical workshop, we can work with 12 and 24 volts DC as well as uh, 240 volts AC, which is all, all the common voltages you will find on the majority of small leisure craft. Again, we have all the tools and equipment and lots of different facilities um, to help train you in everything you will need to know as training as a marine engineer. Um, our level two courses do progress into the second year. We will dedicate that training to just marine engineering. And on the marine engineering courses, you will learn how to maintain and service marine engines, as well as marine propulsion systems and the vessel services you find on them. Um, if you wish to stay with us into a third year, we can move up to a level three course. That level three course, you will do some much more in-depth training now. We will start looking at how faults occur, how to prevent them, how to diagnose them, as well as um, continuing the basic health and safety training and um, management of marine systems. The other half of the training that takes place at the Marine Skills Center then is the boat building training. And again, we have three years worth of boat building training. Um, so the first year, again, very general, alongside the Marine engineering you will do in that first year course, you will do um, basic joinery techniques found on vessels. You will work with composite materials, as well as some more design work and um, health and safety work. In order to carry out that training, we have fantastic facilities. We have a dedicated wood mill with various different machines in there to, to cut and shape wood as required. We also have a fantastic composites training facility. In that facility, we can make whole vessels if needed. But what's fantastic about that facility is all the different techniques you can learn within there. We can do wet layup techniques, vacuum bag techniques using composite materials such as FRP, GRP, carbon fibers. We have an autoclave in there. We have a dedicated sanding bay, a dedicated mixing bay. We also have all the ventilation required to keep you nice and safe whilst you're working there. There is one other area we use for um, boat building training, that's a dedicated wood, wood workshop. And in that wood workshop, this is where you learn all your hand skills, all your basic hand skills. So this is one where you would spend the majority of your first year as a first year student with us. Moving into the year two as a boat builder, you can then um, focus purely on the skills required as a boat builder now. So you will concentrate on woodworking techniques and composite techniques, how to shape and manufacture various parts as well as as well as whole vessels. Again, if you wish to stay with us for a third year, you can move on to a level three course. That level three course, we go much more in depth in the skills required to shape and work with wood and composite materials, looking at faults, how to prevent them, and how to make them look good. Here at the Marine Skills Center, we have some industry expert tutors. They have worked in a wide range of roles out in the marine industry before coming to the Marine Skills Center to teach. They've worked in roles such as the Royal Navy, as boat builders, as shipwrights, and some, some of them have even worked globally for many different marine engineering companies. So we have a wealth of knowledge from small vessels up to the larger vessels and everything in between. 
As part of our courses here at the Marine School Centre, you're required to carry out 37 hours worth of work experience. That work experience can be carried out, ideally, in a marine-related industry. That might be as a carpenter or as a um, mechanical engineer. We can help you find those places out in industry as we work with a wealth of different companies throughout the city and further afield, and we would like to place you in one of those where, we can, where possible. There are many opportunities for progression within the Marine Skills Centre itself. You could stay with us on our three-year programme studying at Level 2 and Level 3. As part of that progression, there is the opportunity to move into an apprenticeship if one becomes available, um, where you can train with many different companies out within the city and, again, further afield. Um, you will be training alongside apprentices on a daily basis, so it's highly likely that you will find leads and job, job opportunities from those people who are currently working in the industry. There is the opportunity to progress to um, university, if you wish, or study HNCs and HNDs in marine engineering when you finish. For more information about our courses and entry requirements, please look at the website.